Pentecost, or Whit Sunday. Fifty days after Easter, the apostles and disciples of Jesus Christ were assembled in an upper chamber, engaged in prayer, according to the recommendation of the Divine Master, and waiting the accomplishment of the promise he had made to them, of sending them a comforting spirit, the paraclete. Lo, a great noise, as of a rushing tempest, was suddenly heard. The house was rocked to and fro, and tongues of fire were seen resting on the head of each one. At once all were changed, their minds being endowed with full understanding of the scriptures, and of the wonders they had hitherto witnessed without comprehending, and their souls were filled with great strength from on high. Thenceforth they belonged no more to themselves but to the work of the gospel. From that time forth the Holy Ghost has not ceased to pour himself forth upon the church to enlighten, comfort, protect, and guide. He has not ceased communicating himself to each of the faithful individually, either by means of the sacraments or by grace, and whenever he has found hearts well disposed. The fathers of the church and all the theologians are of one mind in recognizing the workings of the Holy Ghost in the hearts of the faithful, seven chief gifts, wisdom, understanding, counsel, fortitude, knowledge, piety, and fear of the Lord. The gift of wisdom helps us to judge all things in light of our last end. The gift of understanding to apprehend the truths revealed and to submit our hearts thereto. The gift of counsel to choose in all things the part best fitted for the sanctification of our souls. The gift of fortitude to resist temptations and to overcome dangers. The gift of knowledge to discern the best means of sanctifying ourselves. The gift of piety or godliness causes us to love religion and the practices having reference to the divine worship. The gift of fear of the Lord turns us aside from sin and from whatever may displease God. They that are according to the flesh mind the things that are of the flesh, but they that are according to the Spirit mind the things that are of the Spirit. For the wisdom of the flesh is death, but the wisdom of the Spirit is life and peace. May the Holy Ghost please enlighten us and strengthen us in these dark times.